The landlocked West African nation of Burkina Faso is one of the world's most underdeveloped countries. Since the country's independence from France in 1960, economic growth has been slow. With few natural resources and a weak industrial infrastructure, over 90% of the population live a life centered around subsistence agriculture. In the last few years, Burkina Faso has been devastated by severe droughts, forcing many people to move to the city. Transworld Sport traveled to Burkina Faso recently to report on an indigenous sport that still plays a big role in rural life there. Wrestling here in Burkina Faso is a very important sport. It's popular and fun, and whenever there's a tournament, villagers come together for a day and socialize. When you wrestle and become a champion, you're highly respected, and people want to be like you. Many children admire you and want to copy you, so being a champion is fantastic, and it's a role with a lot of responsibility. Atanase Musiane is Burkina Faso's national wrestling champion. The 33-year-old has been the country's number one traditional wrestler since 1995 and is one of the country's most revered sportsmen. Wrestling in West Africa is extremely popular. However, unlike in Senegal, for example, where the nation's best fighters are all professionals, in Burkina Faso there is very little money. Despite being a national champion for more than a decade, Atanasi works as a traffic policeman. Based in Ouagadougou six days a week, he only leaves the city to return to his family home 300 kilometers away when there's a tournament to compete in. Because I can't be a full-time wrestler, I have to work. And being a policeman is a very good job. But the only problem is that I can't train as much as I would like. Also, when I know I have a tournament coming up, I have to make sure I'm able to get the time off from work, which isn't always easy. The most prestigious regional tournaments happen only once every year. The competitions are big occasions in Burkina Faso's rural communities, and people will sacrifice work in the fields to come and see the fights. The location of the wrestling ring in each village is also extremely important. Wrestling rings vary in size and shape, depending on the village they're in. In the village we're in today, there's a very stony ring. However, the one thing that all the rings have in common is that they're located in places with no bad spirits. That's very important. And in this village, it's believed that the stones in the ring help to ward off any bad powers around. Before the tournament begins, the village men play drums and dance as a way of encouraging people to stop work and make their way to the competition. The wrestlers then present themselves to the watching crowd and village elders. 70-year-old Bukhari Sabo is a former national champion. What I think is so great is the way that the wrestling involves everyone from the region's neighboring villages. Before we begin, people play tam-tam drums and dance because it is important to forgive each other before combat. The clearing in the center of the village sees numerous fights all taking place at the same time. Like many styles of wrestling around the world, a person wins by forcing his opponent onto his back.
to be crowned tournament champion, a fighter has to defeat everyone that enters the event. Champions are highly respected in our communities, and in the past, a good wrestler would be rewarded with a wife. And when I was fighting, it was well deserved, because you could wrestle maybe 50 men in one day. Today, they fight much less, which I don't really agree with. As the national champion, Atanasi has the luxury of entering this tournament late. Taking place in a village near his home, he's the big crowd favourite. Part of his role as champion is his pre-fight routine, where he pays respect to the most important people in the village before selecting his first opponent. I love being the champion of Burkina Faso. It's a real honor to be recognized as the best in a sport that's so important here. I don't want to lose that feeling anytime soon. <laughs> To retain his title, Atanase has to fight several times a year at national tournaments against the best fighters from across the country. For the past 13 years, Atanase Musiane has been the undisputed champion in Burkina Faso's style of wrestling. As he contemplates his career coming to an end in the near future, he's determined to help the sport maintain its popularity long after he's gone. Wrestling hasn't made me rich, but it has made me a much better person. I think it can help youngsters because it builds character. After I retire, I'm going to build a wrestling school because I want my sport to stay popular here for many years to come. Voilà.